think I was about 15 when I got kicked out. It was just after a really big argument with my mum where we squared up to each other. And my dad said he couldn't live with both of us anymore, so one of us had to leave. He actually packed my bags and told me I needed to leave. I was sort of drifting from one place to the next, so I never really had a place that I could actually call home. When I was at my lowest point, I just felt really helpless, because not only was I homeless, but I felt like I didn't have anything to live for. Um, I didn't have any sort of certainties about what I would do next, and instead of looking to the future, I was just taking each day as it comes. So that uncertainty made it hard to sort of have hope and to, to carry on. After a while of sofa surfing, it all became too much for me. Mentally, I felt really weak. Being homeless and also the situation with my family and feeling so isolated from everyone else uh, led to me being depressed. Eventually, I got referred to see the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Services, who diagnosed me as being clinically depressed. They didn't think that I was safe to sort of be on my own anymore. I'd already previously made a few suicide attempts and I'd started to self-harm by this point. Altogether, I was in hospital for about seven months. I was at rock bottom. Um, I didn't really have any mental strength. When I was finally ready to leave hospital, um, as I didn't have anywhere to go, they decided to refer me to Centrepoint so that I could stay in one of their hostels. It was so much more than just the roof over my head because as well as physically being there, they were also there for me mentally. As a mental health worker, if a young person required my support, I would go and take my service to them and see them in a private one-to-one -one room. By offering that person the right type of support that they would need, to kind of like identify what they want to achieve in life, what their life ambitions are, what their goals are, drawing upon their strengths. And that's when I realised that I want to make something of my future and I want to do something that puts all my newfound mental strength to the test. And that's when I decided to take up powerlifting. It is a rewarding job I've got, yeah. And I think with young people, um, change is natural anyway. I think it's just pointing people in the right direction. Centre Point supported me and financially paid for me to go to my first ever international competition. I'm now a three-time world champion.